Why shouldn't you say that? Here's, here's so the emergency come to you. Goodbye. Fat tossing. Fat tossing. Fat tossing. Hello and welcome to your daily crypto news. Before you go any further, make sure you're a subscriber to our channel. Also, smash that like button for us. We appreciate you. So guys, let's look at the markets. Not good today. Market cap is all the way down to $332 billion. It seems like we were just at 480. Uh, we've dug ourselves in quite the hole. There was a tiny bounce. It did get a little lower today. But as you guys can see, Bitcoin dominance is way up. It's at 39%. Basically, everything almost are losers today. So no point in even going into it that much. Uh, where's the floor? I don't know. The number I keep hearing is 6,500. So I'm not a technical analyst. I've told you guys that before. But the number I keep hearing is 6,500. There are other people, not to bum you guys out, that are talking about uh, a nuclear summer, if you will. That's a shout out to a buddy of mine. Uh, that's what he believes. He says, buckle up until September. So I don't know if that's true or not. I hope it's not. I would like to see it obviously move faster than that. But I think that the next number to really watch out for is 6,500. Obviously, if it dips back in the sixes, we're in for a bumpy ride. Um, so I, I think it won't go lower than 6,500 uh, based on just you know fundamental analysis and talking to people and getting the uh, forecast from Dick uh, different technical analysts, but uh, it, it doesn't feel good right now. So, um, I mean, my portfolio has been cut in half recently. So let's go to the winners. So there actually is one pretty big winner today. Of course, you have Skycoin. Uh, not really sure what it's going on with it, but let's talk about ZRX. ZRX had this huge mega pump earlier today. It has settled back down uh, there's a part of me that wanted to sell when it was over 20,000 Satoshis, but I didn't. There's still a lot of volume on this token right now. And so why? Why this pump? Was it a coordinated pump and dump? Well, no, it wasn't. So now let's look at the big news of the day, which is Coinbase acquires cryptocurrency trading platform Paradex. And you may be wondering, why is that such a big deal? Well, because Paradex, here as it says, Paradex, which has 10 employees and is considered a decentralized exchange because it does not maintain custody of the tokens on behalf of its users, but allows them to trade through digital wallets. Well, guess what protocol is used on the decentralized exchange? ZRX. So a lot of people think this is a sign of things to come. And something I had heard a lot of people say before is that ZRX has a good chance to go on Coinbase because... Coinbase wants to use their protocol to add more tokens or coins in the future. And as you can see, now that makes sense. So they buy a decentralized exchange that runs on the protocol. So this could be the opening to the door for them adding more down the road. But I think it bodes very well for ZRX. And that is why we saw the pump today. So I'm a big believer. As you guys know, you watch this channel. I believe in ZRX. I believe it is on Coinbase very soon, hopefully by the end of this month. If not, uh, definitely by the end of the summer. I'd be shocked if it was uh, into football season, if you will. American football, that is. So let's look at some other stories. Bitcoin gold hit by double spend attack. Exchanges lose millions. So Bitcoin gold was hit by a 51% attack, but it takes a lot of money to be able to uh, perform one of those. So how do the hackers profit off of it? Well, they do what's called a double spend attack while the 51% attack is going on. Uh, estimates are that hackers could have stolen as much as $18.6 million worth of funds from exchanges. So if you are a holder of Bitcoin Gold, then I would go check my wallets. So this is the third attack in just a couple of weeks. One on Bitcoin Gold, we saw, of course, the Verge attack and also the attack on Monacoin. So you guys would be safe out there. Um, you know, hopefully we'll see these exchanges with tighter security. I don't have a lot of faith that Verge is going to be able to fix the problem, but hopefully Bitcoin Gold and some of the others will. So Ashton Kutcher announces enormous donation to Ellen DeGeneres Wildlife Fund. 
So basically, Ripple, along with Ashton Kutcher, uh, donated $4 million to Ellen's Wildlife Fund. Basically, Ashton Kutcher said he knew her for years. She's always giving back to people, and nobody gives back to her. So he thought it would be a good thing to donate this to her fund. And that is fantastic. Uh, good job, Ripple. Good job, Ashton Kutcher. A lot of people are calling this the biggest show of the year. So I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, say anything bad about people donating money to good causes. Uh, and I'm sure a wildlife fund is probably a good cause. So I don't know that much about it. Let's look at Payfair. So Payfair is a token. It is currently ranked 586 on CoinMarketCap.com. I've been seeing people talk about it a little bit. So let's look at it. Right now it's coming in at 991 Satoshis. The market cap is around 7 million or about 6.5 million closer. The circulating supply is 88 million Payfairs or Payfair tokens. Not exactly sure how you say that. But Isabel Coin market cap since December. So I found this that explains what it is. So Payfair is a decentralized escrow platform. It is designed to allow its customers a safe, private, and decentralized environment to trade, providing a trustless experience. Think local Bitcoin without the limitations of only Bitcoin to trade with. Trading is live across a wide selection of crypto to fiat pairs. So I wanted to show you guys about a little airdrop they have coming up. So the community has been keen on pushing the marketing side of the platform. Some of the eager investigators within our community noticed that the remaining ETH moved out of the crowdfunding wallet. These funds are going to be used to fund an airdrop. So the airdrop will start on June 1st. Uh, it will end when the fund has been depleted. They're going to drop 100,000 Payfair tokens. So all users that complete a single trade of any pair, trade pair over 50 US dollars within the platform will receive 50 PFR for both people on the transaction. Bonuses are available once per account, will be paid out immediately, and will run until the airdrop fund has been depleted. So you guys, let me know what you think about Payfair. If you like it, look into it a little bit, do your own research, go check it out. So Cardano, the testnet releases are as follows. The KEVM testnet will be launched on May 28, 2018. The IELE virtual machine testnet will be launched in July of 2018. So the, uh, the KEVM testnet, which is like a virtual machine also, uh, it, the Ethereum virtual machine is the lingo that I've seen used, uh, is going to be launching here very soon. So this is exciting news if you are a fan of Cardano, if you watched our top 10 cryptocurrencies of 2019, I believe Cardano will keep its ranking basically, be around the same number it is, which means it's going to be growing because everything's going to be growing with it despite the blood on the markets today. So the key test net, we talked about the key. It's a, it is a net five token. It's an identity protocol basically to identify people on the blockchain. Their test net is ahead of schedule. So it is going to be coming out on May 28th. So anytime a test net is uh, ahead of schedule, that's good news. So if you are a fan of the key, then I'm sure you like hearing this. So if you noticed in our opening video, it was basically a man calling Craig Wright, fake Toshi, which I really enjoyed. So Craig Wright was at a conference today, a, a smaller conference, and he was attacked pretty viciously, uh, but I believe it's warranted. So uh, I'm going to let, I'm going to close this video with that instead of doing our normal closing. I'm going to let you guys watch this video. Tell me what you think about it, about him being called out like that. I think that it's probably, like I said, needed. He's not Satoshi. Uh, I like, watch for the part where he says, oh, if this country wants my technology, implying he created Bitcoin, then, uh, you know, you guys are going to have to kick this guy out. And instead, they ended up letting him leave. So I think that says everything you need to know about the fake Satoshi. So you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That was your daily crypto news. Excuse me, have you had an affair? Um, did your wife know about it? Um, when you did, can you show me the credit card records? Because I'd like to know how much you earn each month and how much the hotel costs. I mean, this is what privacy is about. Um, are you willing to answer those questions? So you want? No, no, I'm, I'm saying, will you answer those questions? Uh, uh, but, uh, if I go to the international media and said that uh, I am uh, why I'm in claim it's so uh, <coughs> So, uh, reasonably, I should you know, present some. As do I really care. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, Anchain Group, 
we don't think it matters anymore whether people believe anyone in the world is Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto is a concept and a myth that birthed Bitcoin to the world. And while there may be many people in the world who believe Dr. White is, we don't think it's important to the future of Bitcoin. And we're here to focus on the future of Bitcoin Dash. And we are happy to have people do what they want to do or not. The only thing that's important to Bitcoin is the future. Not what came before, what is coming and what is being developed. Right. And uh, we're about to release a whole lot of technology and other things. And um, nothing there should matter about who someone was. Proof of authority is not what Bitcoin's about. Right. And uh, yeah. can I continue? Uh, okay, let, let me finish the first question. I will use Zhongmen. Who is Zhongmen? Actually, we have a very strong... 呃，公平的一个标准，就是比特币创建于数学之上，我们相信数学。谁最终能用一个标准去鉴定啊？你有没有私钥？当你没有私钥的时候，我们人人都是中本聪，因为你，我今天我可以说，我也是中本聪，我也是中本聪。我也是。Shut up. Good night. So no, you shut up. Okay. Good night. Well, you want to do this? Without English. What do you, what do you say? Here's Taiwan. Everyone speaks Chinese. I got invited here. Me too. Me too. I don't really say. No, sit down. No, you are not. I never interrupt you. Why are you talking? You didn't interrupt me. You did actually. Me tonight. Okay. You did. Excuse me. Who wants me or him in this conference? Or me and my technology ever in this country? Or not? This is a really bullshit. It's like a. This is shame for the whole Greek currency. So, here's the question. Which one do you want to have answer? Well, take a look at it. No, that's all right. Thank you, please. No, well, then who goes? One of us goes. One of us goes. Which one do you choose? Why should you choose here? Here's the market country. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm going to talk to 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 you. Is this a normal situation? I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. 我们是在做每个人都是中本聪，因为没有办法去证伪你不是中本聪，因为没有私钥。在有私钥可以证明你不是中本聪之前，你就是中本聪。所以我说每个人都是中本聪。要证明你是中本聪，很简单，拿出你的私钥签名。我们的资产是现在是让用数学来保证我们的资产。那么每个人都你要坚信一个信念，要不然你的钱就被别人控制。我们为什么选择比特币？为什么要？说不用央行的这个货币，或者说我们要部分的配置到数加密数字货币上面，就我们相信数学，我们不要去太多去依赖人性，或者叫理性或者感性，我们就相信一个事情，我们有私钥，我们就是我就是钟本聪。如果你丢掉了私钥，就算你是钟本聪，你也不能证明你是钟本聪，有点拗口啊，跟需要大家用一些这个逻辑思维去去挑战。Craig 他就是假的钟本聪。而且极度没有礼貌。他发言的时候，我尊重他。我只提出来一个我们业界成熟的、接受的一个标准，鉴定谁是中本聪的标准。他就这么、这么、这么没有礼貌，还让我们选边。你们可以选边吗？难道说台湾只可以国民党，或者只可以民进党吗？这是在侮辱我们的民主社会。为什么我们能够到今天到这里开会？我们尊重是每一个人发言的权利。Craig， 他就是我们整个社区的耻辱。本来我我我我想非常平静的聊这个事情，他居然一而再再而三。昨天这个闭门会也是这样，也要选边站，要不我走，要不你走。今天继续这样，他是澳大利亚人，我是外地人，他是他们澳大利亚的耻辱，也是我们整个社区的耻辱。谢谢。